This six-year-old boy is about 100 feet from the ground. Let, let's and be let's clear, we hope. still don't know. We still don't know. There are reports uh, that he may not be in there, and we are not going to show impact. We will be on a delay. On the afternoon of October 15, 2009, CNN brought us an alarming and irresistible breaking story. A large silver helium balloon had broken loose and was racing through the windy skies of Colorado with a small boy trapped inside. Scientists in a hermetically sealed CNN clean room could not have created more perfect cable news catnip. He's going down. All right, it's come down. Is a child about to come out of this thing? We don't know. By the end of the day, we had learned that Balloon Boy had never been inside the balloon. He had been home all along. By the end of the week, we had learned that his unscrupulous parents had probably staged the entire thing as a stunt to stoke interest in a possible reality show. Today, the Balloon Boy saga is remembered, if at all, it's a weird news artifact. But it deserves to be remembered as the moment we revealed ourselves to be uniquely vulnerable to the wheedlings of vain and manipulative grifters. The saga revealed the future of jerks, and its progeny are all around us. The alleged boy in the balloon was six-year-old Falcon Heaney. His father was Richard Heaney, an amateur scientist who had created the experimental balloon. On that fatefully stupid day, Falcon's older brother told his father that Falcon had climbed into the balloon and it had come unmoored. When he heard the news, Richard Heaney did what any good father would have done in the same situation. He called the local TV station. A few hours later, we had learned that Balloon Boy had never been in the balloon at all. He was hiding in the family garage. I played with my toys and took a nap, he told reporters. And 300 million Americans mutter the immortal words of Uncle Frank in Home Alone. Look what you did, you little jerk! But the true jerks in this situation were Balloon Boy's parents. That same night, Wolf Blitzer interviewed the Heenies. Um, he's, he's asking Falcon, did you hear us calling your name at any time? Mm -hmm. You did? You did? Why didn't you come out? We did this for the show. Richard Heaney then repeatedly said, I'm really appalled, that Blitzer would ask that question. This is what world-class liars do. They go big with their lies and then bluster loudly when they're called out. Now I'm starting to get a little ticked off because uh, I, I'm repetitively getting asked this. Today, I use the term balloon boy as shorthand for a special species of jerk. Thank you. It's a catch-all term for shameless humbugs who can't get enough of the limelight. You know them and loathe them. Glenn Beck, Ann Coulter, I don't know, Dennis Rodman, the Kardashians, anyone who has ever had a show on Bravo. Their theatricality and sociopathic zeal for attention prey on our medias, on our culture innate weakness for contrived and timely melodrama. Unlike an actual boy in an actual balloon, there is never any risk that balloon boys will soar away into the clouds. They'll always be waiting for the right breeze to ride back into the headlines. Balloon boys are the future of jerks. People who will do anything to attract media coverage. Who recognize that the public and the press will crown you king if you commit to doing and saying the dumbest possible things with the straightest possible face. It will not surprise you to learn that Richard Heaney still claims the hoax was not a hoax. It was never a hoax, not once, not ever. It will definitely not surprise you to learn that the Heaney's now live in Florida and are big fans of Donald J. Trump, the ultimate balloon boy. The Heaney boys have a heavy metal band now, whose website features a pro-Trump anthem with Falcon on lead vocals. Communist, socialist, globalist, not patriotism. After all, a rising tide lifts all balloon boys, or alternatively, Balloon boys stick together. Alex,